Like when I was in kindergarten, everyone was watching the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, everyone except me. My parents thought it was too brutal for me and they gave me clay instead. As you already may guess, this was a huge injustice for five-year-old Simon. While everyone else was talking about the latest episode of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, well, I couldn't really relate to that. And still to this day, I remember this afternoon where I was begging my parents to watch just one episode and they actually agreed. So we sat down in front of the television, they switched it on, we picked the program, we watched one episode and after five minutes, I think it was a scene where one of the enemies, can't remember who it really was, one of the enemies was thrown into the trunk of a car and they stopped right away. They were, oh no, this is too brutal. You watch the more educational stuff on TV. Yeah, but as mentioned in the intro, I got Clay instead. They supported me a lot to develop my creativity, not only with clay, but also with pens. And I painted and sculpted my very own turtles to play with them. It is affecting me up to this day. Over the past month, there were so many rumors that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are about to come into Fortnite and I was really looking forward to that moment. Now it has arrived, we got tons of quests and tasks to do and I actually bought my very first skins. I bought the whole set of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not only to play with them, within Fortnite, but also to get the most accurate and awesome 3D models to work with and to use as my blueprint for today's clay creation, uh, because I really like the way they are put into the game. Over the past years, we have seen so many cruel mistakes done by character designers on the Turtles, this time, I have to admit, I really like how they look, especially that they decided to create them with the white eyes instead of the human eyes with the iris. Never really liked those. I know there is a huge community loving the 1990s movie. It was, yeah, I, I liked it, but compared to the animated series, well, it's just my childhood seeing those animated turtles moving around and then playing with my action figures. So let's talk about the creation. You have seen I used the same skeleton, the aluminum wire, as always, as the starting point and then started coating it. The green color is mixed by myself because there wasn't the exact right green I was looking for. And now let's do some sculpting. On today's creation, I'm using a total of five tools only. We have the scalpel, the knife and my very own modeling tools. They come in three different woods. We have smoked oak, olive, olive. Olive. They come in three different woods. We have smoked oak, olive and ash, which had been sold out for months. Now back in stock on clayclaim.com. And when you use the code TMNT, you'll get 10% off your next order. These are the last hundred sets which we have for Ash. And when you are looking for a modeling tool with two tips on one tool, very short, so that you can rotate it quite easily, it's more like working with a pen. Then I'll invite you to go over to clayclaim.com and I will also link it right under this video. Okay, the main sculpting is done. 
on our turtle. Have I mentioned who it is? Well, you saw the thumbnail. Yeah, I gave it away. <laughs> it's Leonardo. Um, not my favorite, but I decided to start with him um, because I really liked the pose which I found of him jumping in the air and I thought, oh, I can work with that. Let's use this pose, but giving him his katana. And um, yeah, <laughs> we will see how this will turn out. Now we are attaching and adding all the fall protectors, his armor, to the body. So the green is already oven hardened and it makes it so easy to work on top with the soft brown clay for the fall protectors. And we need this to create a very beautiful texture effect. I'm pretty sure you already know where I'm going with this, but let's just concentrate and focus on this next working step. The gauze bandage has been on the turtles for many years and I have already created some turtles many years ago also on this channel. Used the same technique and I really like how the texture, um, how the imprint is finding its way into the clay and emphasizes the gauze bandage effect. <laughs> it just looks so realistic. And then we have some further brown clay pretending to be leather. Most of the bandages are created with a modeling tool, but then for the very last stripe I'm actually adding a clay stripe to the bandage, for example. Yeah, we are continuing with the fall protection. Each of the turtles has an individual kind of fall protection. At first I thought they look all very similar, but having the close look at the 3D models within Fortnite, having a look at the skin, rotating it, I can get all the details on the armor. This is silver plus black clay mixed together. It gets this really rich old silver look. And I think after oven hardening, I will even use a silver pen to even um, make it shine, make it even more shine and shiny to emphasize these tiny elements. Yeah, we have many bags <laughs> which Leonardo is wearing and having. It's a total of six plus two different sizes of bags. And this is the belt buckle with the legendary letter on top. This time in blue, the L for love. Leonardo. So we will attach the bags in a minute, just working on the proportions and some tiny details on the belt. And then we can place the bags right onto the belt. You don't need any glue as long as you are pressing it enough onto the clay creation. And after oven hardening, it's so solid. It won't fall off. Don't worry about that. Some more bandages for the lower part of the arms. Look at the muzzles. They turned out so great.
than the characteristic hands with three fingers only and they will be holding the katana, the swords. Later on I decided to go for a very tight grip on his left hand, holding the katana right in front of him. For the other hand, for his right hand, being more at the back, I um, am thinking about a more relaxed hand position. So the grip isn't so tight, it's more open. And we have some more bandages and leather parts. I am so surprised by the many details which we find on just this one figurine. Well, you look at the turtle, you see the character and first thing which comes to mind is, oh, this looks quite simple. We have a green character, it's a turtle. Maybe some armor and protection, but then I started sculpting him and discovered so many more details, like the elbow protection, for example, on the back side. Also, it is another um, very unique um, armor piece. It's different for each turtle as well. Also, the bags, the bags are all different on each of the four tur turtles. And this is also unique for Leonardo, the crossed belts in front of his chest. I made a very thin layer of brown clay and we already got the bags placing them right there and now some beautiful tiny buckle elements with silver clay and hopefully it works and we can put the crossed belts right in front of his chest and putting it all around so that the belts will connect and click on the back on top of his shell, the turtle shell. The head is quite a simple shape. I'm using one of my tools for that. It's the scrapping tool. It's nude and working on the cheeks. What's missing? The mouth and the blindfold later on. But look at that! This is so simple to create. Just don't overthink it when it comes to heads. Short reminder, you can get a set of my very own tools on clacklim.com. Use the code TMNT to get 10% off your next order. I try to be very careful with the head. I don't want to change the proportions anymore. And I'm very careful to attach it to the torso. After that, we will add the blindfold to this. But now let's focus on the back first, on the famous turtle shell. <laughs> and we have some crazy details here. I put the clay together so that you can still see some brighter colors of green in there. So it's a beautiful pattern. And now with the cutout, I have a blueprint for the size of the shell. Next would be to define the pattern, which we have on top. These hexagons, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. <laughs> They all make sense putting together or put together. And the last working step for the shell, by the way, this took me two hours, <laughs> is to create these tiny lines. We have levels, levels inside each of these hexagons. And it 
it looks so beautiful. Still a little bit shiny. My hands are hurting. <laughs> but after oven hardening, it will get a very silky finish and won't shine that much anymore. And now with the sword scabbards, we have the last elements for the back side of Leonardo. The katanas are being assembled after oven hardening. And let's put this into the oven. Freshly baked turtle. <laughs> oh, this is cruel. As glue for the turtle shell, we are using clay. Some brown clay, which can be seen in between the body and the shell when you look at the skin in Fortnite, for example. It just appears dark in between. And I tried to explain it to myself in an anatomical way so that it makes sense from a biological perspective that there is some type of connection skin. Yeah, the bells are almost touching. It's not um, a problem right now because we will just add some further brown clay. And finally, finally, we're taking the blue clay for the blindfold. I have mentioned it before, I love the white eyes on the turtles. Right now there is this new series on Nickelodeon. Not that new anymore. Um, wow, let me look that up right quickly. TMNT, Nickelodeon. It's... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, no. Oh, there are so many series out there right now. The new one, what are they called? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, they have white eyes but with a black iris inside. Um, I don't like how they look, but the animation looks awesome. It has the stop motion claymation touch to it, which I really like. The knot is attached to the blindfold and there's not much to do. We are ready to put him into the oven and after oven hardening we can now do some finishing work. This is the promised silver pen for some shiny details on the belt buckle and the, well, all the me metallic parts <laughs> in his armor. One of the elbow protections fell off. And we also make this a little bit more shiny with the silver pen. Now the katanas, I'm so looking forward to assemble them and finally giving it into his hands. They have this pattern right on the blade. And look at that. The handle is attached. Awesome! I, well, they, they look better than I thought they would, uh, mainly because the blade has to be really thin and if I would have made the clay too thin, they would just bend, bend over. Ching! <laughs> now placing them into his hands. There is also some tiny element hanging down on one of the blade handles. I try to make them parallel. And now the last elements on the blindfold. <laughs> Look at that. The blindfold reminded me of some rabbit ears. 
well, don't judge. Shiny L, the letter on his belt buckle. And now some pigments on the skin. And guys, finally. No, let's add some more pigments to the face and maybe on the legs. And what about the shell? Yeah, just right quickly adding some dark color for the gaps in between the hexagons. And guys, I guess, finally, that's it, Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the Fortnite skin version. Today's project was really special to me as it brought back so many childhood memories. As you may guess, I'm thankful for my parents to not allow me to watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but giving me clay instead. And I think I have improved. If you think so, hit the bell, subscribe. Bye.